Sorry guys, I'm out of breath. I carried so many things. But look at this. I covered this whole area with that black sheet over there. That one kind of stayed. I put these on top of it. And they've blown all the way over here. This is what happened in the storm. I'm actually quite happy. The trellis stayed up. The tree stayed up. Well, quite impressed. Oopsie. Okay, let's go get the other stuff and then I'll discuss. I will discuss about. I mean, everything looks pretty good still. Considering the storm, I thought it was going to be a lot worse here. Like, things were going to be trashed. I found this literally just there in the, tr the recycling. <laughs> I found this and I bought this. But yeah, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Okay, I'm carrying this back. I thought I'd share a trick with you guys. If you ever have like slightly lower back pain, just suck in your lower belly and hold it tight. It's like a support for your lower back. I think I learned it from like a Pilates thing. So try it. <laughs> okay guys, so I got this. Um, basically, this is the soil that's going to be used in my acidic plant corner. So that's going to be like blueberries, cranberries I think. And I'm not sure what else, but that's the two plants I want to grow as well. So I made a little corner for them to grow in. So I've got a pink, pink lemonade blueberry plant, which I'm excited about. I'm going to buy some cranberry plants, little bushes, in the future. And yeah, I think they'll support each other and be a nice little addition to my allotment. So I needed the acidic soil, because they need more acidic soil. Oh, oh no. Are you still okay in there? Oh, I think they're dead, man. This one looks healthy. Oh, there's a bee right there as well. Can you see the bee? Oh, he's having a good time. I'll cover you up so you can get some more. Well, maybe I shouldn't cover up because then he can't fly out. This one looks kind of healthy. I guess I put them out too early as well. <sighs> well, I'm not planting anything here anytime soon, so we'll just leave it and see what happens it's literally just a cover crop anyways but yeah let's check out the damage guys i brought all my stuff over i actually hold on i popped this over here because i'm gonna fix it because this bit's falling off and it's a bit wobbly and i think that's to help the structure okay so i don't know where this came from but it was like over there on my corner so it's mine now i don't care if someone claims it it's literally gonna be in the pond <laughs> um this is stable even though this was covered in that black top over there. <laughs> oh gosh. The storm, man, the storm. It got us good. This fell down. Thank God I didn't put any seedlings on it yet. I put bricks on the bottom to keep it secure in place, but clearly that's not enough. They had the top on top of it as well, which is this one, which stayed, thank God. Let's see my trees in here. Are we okay? They still look green, they're just lopsided. I need to, I can't wait to take this off so they can grow properly. We have a big mission today. I was supposed to come here way early, like like normal, and I did not. <laughs> but now that I found this lid thing, I kind of want to put it in here, but it's kind of shallow. I feel like what I should do is lift up the top a bit, but not the top, the liner a bit, Put that underneath. I'll dig it a little bit. Put it underneath. Put the new liner underneath as well. And then any holes that are in here hopefully won't be an issue because it will go into here. It will go into the other liner if it does leak through. And then I don't have to disturb all of this too much that I've already done. And then I could just leave the moss. I can add the stones that I want to add, which got lost in the mail apparently. Annoyingly so. I need to go claim my top back yeah there's a lot of jobs to do today but i'm gonna try and just do a few and then see how it goes oh, out of shot hey guys <laughs> okay i tidied up a bit now, I really want to get it to work, so I'm going to focus right now 
and then I'll show you the afters of what I've done instead of just focusing on filming. Okay, so this is how it looks before I do the thing. I took some rocks out, but yeah. I'm literally just putting this under, this over, and then hopefully somehow fixing it. <laughs> We have put the bucket in the bottom. We have lined it nicely with some moss and some clay, because it's only clay over there <laughs> that came from underneath it. We're gonna put new sand down, put new, like, new ones of these amethysty rocks when I get the bag of stuff to make it look pretty around the edge. But now I'm just gonna fill it with water and see if it's okay. I think it should be okay now, because it's got the bucket it's got another liner it's got this liner which potentially has a hole in it but i don't care because there's another liner underneath <sighs> makeshift stuff man makeshift stuff <laughs> one day i will do it perfectly but for the, my first try i don't think it's too bad i know these look out of, out of whack i just want to grow my water crest in here i want to see wildlife in here and i want to move on to the next thing i want this to just be done and then i can improve it later but yeah, let me fill it with water and then we can see what it looks like and see if the, the fountain's still working because the sun's out right now, so hopefully. And now we have filled it up. But I guess this is good enough for now. But the fountain's not working. It's another sad thing. Okay, we got another path in. God damn, why does it feel like I'm taking forever to do paths? I know they look different from each other, but I really don't care. I really don't care, guys. I'm gonna put down whatever cardboard I need to put down that's left over onto some of the beds back there. Because I don't have enough, but I'll put a bit down. And then I'll water them down a bit. And I think that's it. I'll just put the coconut quoise compost into the crates over there okay so basically with coconut quoi you just have to put like blocks into a container and then add water so let me show you so i've put like two five blocks in there they look like this this is just the like the fiber from the coconut basically compost soil whatever you want to call it um i'm just gonna add water to that and then you'll see them expand five might be a lot i've actually got like eight blocks um, so i'm gonna start with five and then We'll let that cook. <laughs> we'll let it cook. So as you can see, I'm adding the water and it will expand, guys. It will expand. And then we will paint it. I love that the sun is coming out. I can't wait till it's spring time. And this is a trick, guys. This is this is a good trick if you want to keep your paintbrushes from drying out. Wrap it in cling film and then you can just keep reusing it instead of having to clean it off and then when you're finished you can clean it off so just wrap it in cling film and it keeps it wet and soft there's holes in the table it's gonna drip it's okay well, it's pretty like light out here oh my god maybe it's because I didn't mix it properly what? It's, it's lighter. God damn it. <laughs> oh well. At least my table's gonna look nice. Is 
done guys yeah yeah it looks white though hopefully that doesn't give me problems later hopefully when it dries it will be more duck eggy more of a greeny color but yeah I'm just gonna leave down there exposed I'm probably gonna store things in there so I'll put a cover like a fabric cover stapled onto there or something so that people don't see it in the distance they'll be like oh that's mine I'm stealing that <laughs> but yeah and I've still got half a pot of paint left let's go check out the coconut water look how big they got look how thick that boy is damn damn son okay as you can see we have one of the herb crates it's got these little handles that turn in so then you can stack this on top and then I feel like the holes on the side make it so that I can make them things grow out the sides like herbs and stuff which are smaller plants and this one like this I was gonna make it taller and slimmer but I found these massive crates and I was like hmm okay I use you and I will literally just do three like that and then I'll probably do another three maybe because I peeled it a bit let me just see if I can go get some more of these. Luckily, the glue I asked said I could take it. It's like any palettes, any, not a lot. I, I don't think I was allowed to take a lot because like someone picked it up. But I said to him, I just want little bits because I can't even carry it. Um, and he said, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. A tower. <laughs> Probably seems so weird to you guys. I'm going to put the rest of the pond, pond lining on the bottom one so that it doesn't grow into the ground i've got eight blocks so hopefully oh my god i can see it from here it's massive jesus jesus what you doing in here do i need to add more water to you or are you good i mean i want to leave soon so i'm hoping that this will do like be done by the time i'm going i wish i did it earlier i didn't think about it I just carried this giant bucket full of all that water and quah on my back. Oh, I squatted, but Jesus. I put the cover down, I've wetted it over there. It didn't fill the whole bed, but I got enough to cover the bit that's exposed. And now I'm just going to fill this in diddy. Oh, that was a lot. You're heavy, boy. You heavy. Can have a look. So I haven't filled it up all the way because as well, if I'm gonna pull this off again and put like, oops, I'm just dropping it. If I'm gonna put um, more compost in there, then I'm gonna have to lift this up and then put the compost in because there's no space to put compost in in the sides. Whew. Yeah. Okay, you can see as well it's dripping, so I can water it from the top and then the, the many holes at the bottom will make it drip down and as well if some of it's got crazy roots maybe I'll try and think of things with shallower roots to put on the top crazy roots on the bottom because then I don't want the root system to pass all the way through the whole thing I really need to think about this properly but it's mostly going to be herbs strawberries stevia I want to try growing stevia catnip maybe or I don't remember if catnip's going to be in here but lots of thyme sage all of that, all of that, and hopefully this is keeps it from falling over. I don't even know. I always do the rock test. Are you gonna fall? Are you gonna fall? The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing. So basically, that corner over there is going to be my blueberry and cranberry acid corner. This whole area is going to be like a kiwi plant growing on a fence. A pomegranate, I think it is. No, not pomegranate, passion fruit. I can't remember what the other one is, but something's gonna grow over there. I gotta dig the trench all the way through here so I can only I don't only have to deal with my own weeds. That's gonna be a big job. So I definitely need to take my medicine. <laughs> I need the pain relief. I have chronic pain, just so you know. It's not anything to do with me doing hard work here. It's literally I have chronic pain. I have pain all the time. But yes, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll show you the final everything once I clean up. Um, it's coming along. It's really coming along. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm really 
happy with how everybody's going so far and I'm hoping it just gets even better <laughs> thank you guys for watching anyways and now let me show you everything um, so obviously this is covered up but you've seen it many times We've got the tower over there yeah we just laid left that lane down we'll sort out that when we start doing seedlings we've done all of that we did our path we did our pond which still got water in it thankfully it <laughs> didn't run out um i'll cover that back up and yeah we put cardboard down we did a lot today we haven't been here in a little while so i needed to do a lot today because the freeze was bad the freeze was bad i couldn't do much okay enough from me today <laughs> Hope you guys had a good week and I should see you pretty soon depending on how much I decide to edit. <sighs> oh, someone's coming. Bye guys. <laughs>